Hello one and all and welcome to a very special How I Paint Things. Now tomorrow is my birthday. Yay! And as well as that I am actually in the middle of plotting and planning a move. Well not planning, I've actually started packing. There is a mountain of boxes to the side of me here. But despite that I still wanted to get something out before the end of the week just to say hi and have some fun. Now me being a genius I have packed a fairly decent portion of the miniatures that I would ordinarily turn to painting in this case. So I kind of had to grab something that was <laughs> that was there. Uh, now this Dalek that I'm going to paint, uh, this is a 3D print, but you can get Daleks from pretty much anywhere. Just type Dalek miniatures into Google. Um, I think you can still get them from Warlord. I know there's some Black Tree Designs Daleks out there. They're not too hard to find. Or cruise on Thingiverse if you have a 3D printer and you can print out your own and then get painting. So as a bit of a change from usual, I'm not going to show you the miniature at the start of the video. Uh, today there are a few really elementary mistakes that I make. And uh, I thought in the interest of showing that, you know, you can recover from those and honestly tweaking and just finishing painting a miniature is going to work perfectly well whether you make a mistake along the way or not. Uh, I thought I'd leave those in. So it's a bit of a, a bit of a mess along the way here. <laughs> but uh, I do end up with what I think is quite a cool painted Dalek. So we're going for classic 60s here on the old hex base. Uh, the old blue and silver because it's the coolest. Though after painting all of those bobbles Maybe I should have switched for the Russell T Davies uh, bronze Dalek and just dry brush the damn thing. <laughs> anyway, without any further mucking around, let's get started. Now to start off with, I've given him a prime with plate mail metal from the Army Painter. Reason being, if I have anywhere that I want to go up, like I want to highlight, uh, plate mail metal isn't like the shiniest metal out there, but it's a pretty good base. So when I want to highlight, I'll go to Shining Silver or something, and instead that will look quite smart. Where I'm going to start off though is actually in the grills here. I've got here Black Templar, this is a contrast paint. I'm not going to be terribly careful in my application here, because I know I'm going to come back and uh, paint over some of these bubbles again. But what I'm going to do is just a quick straight line, go around the, uh, what would you call this, the grill. The hull, the head, his neck. Does he have a neck? <laughs> and uh, one coat of this will do the job quite nicely. Now that's extremely quick to do. Uh, when we come back, we will fix up these vertical lines with a little bit of plate mail metal later. But for now, we're going to let that dry properly. And I've got here, this is a Vallejo color. This is azure. It's a nice sort of sky blue. Here comes the fun part. We're going to paint all of these bobbles by hand, and unfortunately, there's not really a quick way of doing this. And you can be, I mean, it's up to you whether you want to go sort of sloppy and tidy up with plate mail later, or if you want to, you know, take your time. <sighs> but whatever the case, there's something like 70 bobbles on these guys. I, I forget the exact number, but my goodness, here we go. You see, these aren't, oh, this is going to take, <laughs> this is going to be a mission. Uh, and for these classic Daleks, don't forget the little ribbed section on his eye stalk up here. This was blue too. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to do this now. Now something I think, you know, I always was really scared of the Daleks as a kid. And it's something that I think a lot of people sort of laugh at these days. Because the Daleks, you know, they are, they're silly. But think of a time when suddenly there was this alien on screen that wasn't, you know, it wasn't a dude in a suit with monster claws. It was completely inhuman. The Daleks, well, they were scary for a different reason than most on-screen aliens. You think about why, you know, deer and, and other sorts of wild critters that we would hunt Think of humans as scary. It's that persistence hunter sort of angle. They do not know pain. They do not know fear. And they're always out there after you. So Daleks, they were scary. They're still cool. 
Uh, anyway, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna come back when these bubbles are finished. Now that was not quite as mind numbing as I thought, uh, but I did have to go back and do a couple of coats on some of them because they need to be quite close. You know, the the paint needs to be almost flush with the the body, the hull. Uh, Daleks is confusing. Anyway, what I've got now is some black, and there's not very much to do with this, to be honest. What I'm going to do is paint in those black details. So along the bottom of his hull here. Uh, now on the weapon and the plunger, the weapon itself doesn't have sort of a black socket, but the little ball at the base of the plunger does. So don't worry too much if you make a mistake here, because our final step is going to be to go back to that plate mail metal and tidy up. And don't forget his little eye... St oh god, they're grim. Love these guys. Now with that addition of just the black around those details, I think that iconic look starts really coming out. And it's something I really like about the original Dalek design, is just three colours and it's so sharp. Anyhow, I've got now that plate mail metal, and what I'm going to do is start tidying up and just touching in any details where, you know, I've gone over the wrong colour, or tidying up some of the bubbles. So most importantly, we're going to start with these vertical grill sections, and then anywhere where I might have had, you know, a little bit of mistake with the blue, I can touch that in now. Now there's one last detail to look at, and I will link in the description to a site that I found talking about the various designs of lamps, I guess you'd call them, on the Daleks' heads. Uh, based on the shape of these ones, I'm pretty certain they're supposed to be the original white bubbles. So I'm just using a little off-white here from Vallejo, and we'll dab those in. Now once the lamps are dry, I've got here Non Oil Gloss, and this is one that I actually don't use very often, but I think this is going to work perfectly for what I've got in mind. I've got one of my little flat brushes from the stationery aisle, you know, nice cheap ones. Uh, but they do work fairly well for just applying this all over the miniature. So take your time, make sure that you are getting this into the recesses on your Dalek, and then we'll give them about 20 to 30 minutes to dry. Now once that's dried, you're going to have a shiny little monster. And in retrospect, you could probably use the ordinary null oil because I'm going to gloss varnish this whole dude anyway. Now, a few of the areas I do want to touch up again, so we are going back to Azure, and I'm going to paint over the top of some of these bubbles again, because I want the center of them to be quite clean and crisp in comparison to the sort of shaded areas around them. So just little blips, sort of paint most of them, and this will be much quicker than, you know, painting them the first time. Now with the bubbles tidied up, I'm going to go back to my off-white and just dot in the lamps on the top again, just so they look a bit tidier. And let's very carefully try poking in the center of his eye stalk. Yeah, go dude! <laughs> now there might be some areas that you want to be a little shinier, you know, you want to call attention to the edges of detail, or you just think he should be brighter. I've got here Shining Silver to do this, and what I'm going to do is just a couple of lines on the front of his grill, and some of these panels, I think they could benefit from a little bit of extra across the tops here. Now when it's come to painting in those highlights, this is where I've realized I've actually made a mistake. The gloss finish that the Non Oil had actually makes it quite difficult to paint over the top of them. Um, the slightly shiny surface does make it hard for paint to stick. So you'll see, especially around the back of his dome here, there's a little bit of imperfection there. So I've had to go back and basically shining silver that a couple of times to get a proper solid color, uh, which could have been saved if I just used regular known oil from the outset. So live and learn. But on that subject, I'm now going to use regular non-oil for something else. And after having given it a good shake, I've got a little bit on the end of my brush here, and I'm just going to paint it in between these panels again. I really want these to have a bit more definition, and a quick blast of non-oil is going to be the easiest way to do that. 
Now that those armoured slats are a little bit more clearly defined, I think that really sets him off. What I'm going to do now is give him a gloss varnish. Um, ordinarily at this stage you might have seen me use matte, but I really want this guy to have that high 60s look and shine. <laughs> then what we'll do is slap a quick base on him and get a look at what a finished Dalek looks like. And there we have it, our Dalek is complete. And after all of that fuss about the gloss, I actually went and decided that it didn't really look as good as I thought it was going to. So I hit him instead with some Munitorum varnish, which is a satin instead of a pure gloss, and I think that works quite well. So, as always, thank you very much to Exit23 Games for the light and sound equipment, as well as all of the lovely patrons who are keeping me ticking over in paints and glue, including producers Alan Nuttall, Kyrie Crawford, Trainboy, Connor, and Fred. Any questions or anything, feel free to drop them in the old comments box below. My Twitter and Facebook are both linked there too. So thank you very much for your time, one and all, and you will enjoy the rest of your day, and I will enjoy tomorrow.